Uh, so, uh, anyway, <laughs> we now move on to a section we haven't done for a while, but seeing as we're at a Doctor Who convention, it seems a good idea to do Doctor Who news! Yay! I'm behind us over, it's time to discuss Doctor Who! And we, 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 we start with... Uh, oh, Silver, said I'd be on the sofa, not I'm sorry, oh, Silver! Oh, Sorrow's here, let's talk about Doctor Who! <laughs> Sorrow's a Doctor Who fan now! <laughs> so when I can we'll get a word in each one. Zorro! Yeah, we'll start with the news <laughs> of Stephen Moffat, Ope. Ope? Ope. Yes, oh. he's now Order of the British Empire. He has been uh, awarded uh, right. that honour in the Queen's Birthday Honours. Uh, for his... fans, who likes Stephen Moffat? Two, two, two people. people and everybody else is ignoring us. It's not that they hate Stephen Moffat. Yes, uh, okay. Services to drama. That's what you think. It's the um, it's the same award that uh, Russell Nothing T. Davis got in 2008. <laughs> uh, speak, Don't make a lift. How many speaking, people are you going to try and annoy? Speaking, Everyone, Colin Baker was the best. <laughs> speaking to former news round presenter there, Lizo Mazimba. Lizo Mazimba. Lizo Mazimba. Uh, he's like these on the Zimba. Oh my god. <laughs> god in the ring. We found a gag and we're just not like, gonna let it go. Never. No. I never thought I would get something like this. I'm astonished and more thrilled than I ever thought someone like me would be. We got Stephen Moffat, oh, sounds like Grant Morrison. I've got to be honest with you, these other Zimbas changed. <laughs> I'm not the least bit cynical or the least bit trying to be cool about it. I'm just really, really happy. There's a full interview online. I've been down Loch Ness, searching for the monster. I'm gonna find them. I'm gonna skin them. I'm gonna put them on the wall. And I'm gonna eat his freaking tail. I was just swearing to murder no matter what, do, because I'll be murdered. And then uh, what's he gonna have? Ah, gas. No, no, no. About true fit. About true fit. Oh. God dang it, look at this place. Well, it's about this time I looked over at this pole grease and I found out there wasn't no pole grease. It was definitely a jig and a muscle to the tail end period. What? Did you swear? Well, it just fell away from me there. God damn you, pole grease. I ain't giving you no tree, fit it. Uh, also awarded OBEs uh, for services to drama are Leslie Manville, who was in An Adventure in Space and Time. Martin Clunes was in Snake Dance. And uh, one off. Comedy doctor Lenny Henry hey. has been knighted. He is Sir Lenny. Oh, Sir Lenny oh. Henry. And he's dead. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah. What? what? I'm not. What? I'm standing. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm more comfortable. Sir Lenny of Henry. Sir Lenny of Henry. Sir, Sir Lenny of Henry. Um, ne next bit of Doctor Who news. Uh, we're just talking about uh, Big Finish's uh, mini series, Unit Extinction. Um, uh, which Big is, Finish, uh, give us a cheer. <laughs> which okay, is uh, an extension. A four-part story written by uh, Matt Fitton and some guy called Andrew Smith. Who's this? It's about <laughs> David Tennant pointing up a, 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 a gazebo. <laughs> what? A gazebo? Unit extension. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, they've announced I'm that Ingrid Oliver is playing hey. Osgood. Oh, with, with Big Finish, uh, we, they'd already uh, announced Gemma Breadgrave is returning as Kate Stewart with a whole new team of unit members. And, uh, unit yeah. members, you say? Unit members, they're going to be uh, facing off against the Autons. Oh, and um, yes, we were talking to um, Andy Smith about member, this last, we talked last to night. A unit member last night. Yes, and, Jolly, uh, he's here today. Yes, yes. Well, we'll get into. I'll tell you what, while we're still talking about Doctor Who. Yes. Uh, let's go through the list of everyone who's here today, Paul. Yeah, why not? Who have we had on first? Uh, so I talked to Simon. So who, what's on second? Who's on first? Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, no, we, Simon Fisher Becker. We had Simon Fisher Becker, friend of the show. He's yeah. uh, he's, he, usually last year, lovely chap. Debbie Watley. Debbie Watley. She was lovely as well. Yes. Um, Can we tell us all about when she played a slapper in the wall? Yes. Yeah. Benji UXP. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there was also uh, was it uh, uh, Roger Bunce and Clive Doyle? Yeah, yeah, we had Cameron uh, I, 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 I was talking to Clive last night because I, you know, I'm a big fan of the stuff that he produced for Children's BBC as a kid. Yeah. Oh. But then Roger managed to completely trump that by pointing out he was a, a cameraman on Play School. He used to zoom into the round window. That is so cool. And that's not a euphemism. <laughs> Would you like to zoom into the round, the round window? window. 
I've done yeah. worse. <laughs> uh, heard my we've stories. had Brian Croucher. We haven't. Who know? Brian Croucher. Brian Croucher. It was a pleasure. He was yes. such Probably a nice guy. guy. Seven. Such a nice guy. Yes. Great and, um, We've had. Uh, uh, was it? Just just before we've Jason had uh, Connery. Jason Connery and Nathan and, uh, Nathan McMullen from. Um, from Misfits. Yeah, Misfits. And Jason McConaughey, of course, is... Uh, Jason McConaughey? Jason McConaughey, yeah. That's yeah. his super Scottish name. Uh, Jason Connery, of course, Son of Sean, and also Robin Hood. Yeah, not Son of Robin Hood. Robin Hood, sure was Robin Hood. the second. Well, technically, yeah, in that case, then he was Son of Robin Hood. Oh, yeah, see? Yeah. It all comes together. Sean yeah. McConaughey. Um, our final bit of uh, Doctor Who news for this section is uh, a new uh, production of... Uh, you to, uh, do, do you not want to talk about people who are coming up later on the show? We can do if you want. Yeah, after the break, uh, shortly, we've got uh, John Levine, who's going to be uh, entertaining us all. Yay! Uh, a big cheer for John Levine there, thank you. Uh, who have we got after that? We've got, uh, I believe, Peter Purvis. Peter Purvis. Yeah, we've got Peter Purvis, yeah, yeah. And Philip Hinchcliffe. Yes. Yes. Uh, am I missing anyone? Oh, Andrew Smith as well. Yeah, Andrew Smith. Andrew Smith. Yeah, yeah he's already been. Circle. Yeah, so uh, nice chat. We had a good chat with him yesterday, didn't we? Mm -hmm. About police cars. Yes. Yes. And and police and cars. Cars. And, and was, yes. to, was Toby involved in the conversation? Uh, what? Was Toby involved in the conversation? Toby wasn't there last night. No. Uh, well, he was, but not till long. Not not right. right. No. Okay. Right. I think the other. Uh, I was just, over there somewhere. Yeah. I'm just remembering. Uh, for like last time I was here when we were recording this, and for some reason, until I met until I met Toby, I was convinced he sounded exactly like that guy on the police. Hello, it's me, it's Toby Hedo, and. Yeah. Yeah, but for, no, but for some reason I thought he, he would talk like the way you described him. I thought he was like that that fella who does the the police now videos, you know? Yeah, you thought he was like Michael Bay or something, yeah. yeah? Like the guy. He fell the down a well and killed himself. <laughs> Isn't that a bit oh. of a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I've allowed myself to swear because let's face it, everyone else has today. Yeah, that's so, true. F it. Yeah, um, screw yeah. it. Right, um, um, one final Doctor Who piece of news, oh. or Doctor Who related. There is a Canadian film version of A Christmas Carol that's uh, just uh, hey. Yeah, it's hey. uh, uh, yeah. which will, uh, which is Where's featuring... Sammy? Where's Sammy? Where is she? Is Sammy around anywhere? Yeah, she's around somewhere. Okay, where does she? I want her. Come on, someone find Sammy and tell to her. Yeah. yeah, because we're talking about a Christmas Sammy Carol, eh? Yeah, yeah, Christmas Carol. Eh? Colin Baker goes Canadian, eh? Yeah, Col Colin Baker is playing Charles Dickens, who is narrating a Christmas Carol in a, in a new version. Uh, and, um, and then the ghost should be released. And Scrooge in the night, and he's all like, what the hell's going on here? There's a ghost of Christmas past and present and future, eh? Should be released around about Christmas, apparently. Good God. Yeah. Hang on. But then he was Christmas Carol coming out to Christmas? Why, that's absurd. Yeah. How I'll, bizarre. I'll release it right now. And how, bizarre. Bizarre. how bizarre. How bizarre. How bizarre. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. Anyway, uh, we got, got off track there. Uh, yeah. Should we do a bit of TV news? TV news. We've only got like 10 minutes left. Um, Wait. Yeah. No one booed, so that's good. Uh, <laughs> Alright. I'll make it 15, but yeah, yeah. close enough. Yeah, 10 for one. Yeah.